Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 advanced SQL problems on topics like select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries, and advanced topics like window functions and common table expressions. In this video, we are going to solve this question called Friendly Movies Streamed Last Month and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the 25th video of the series called Friendly Movies Streamed Last Month. And if I look at the companies this question has been asked in, so Amazon, let's look at what the question has to say we are given a table called tv program with three different columns program date content id and channel the combined columns program date and content id is the primary key that is combination of columns with unique values for this table this table contains information of the programs on the tv content id is the id of the program in some channel on the tv we are also given a second table called content with four different columns content id title kids content and content type content id is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table kids content is an enum category that is it can take the y and knows that is yes or no where y means a content is for kids otherwise n is not content for kids content type is the category of the content as movies series etc we are asked to write a solution to report the distinct titles of the kid friendly movies streamed in june of 2020 order of the result does not matter okay so let's go through this example so here we have different records for tv program table as well as content table so obviously in june of 2020 so there are two things that have been streamed content id one and content id 4 now content id 1 is lead code movie which is not kid friendly but content id 4 is aladdin which is kids friendly and it is also a movie so in the output we need to have aladdin as our output okay so to do this since we need to you know filter by the kids content as well as the content time and also the program day should be june or 2020 so since all these columns are in two different tables the first thing that we should do is we should merge this information into one so we are concerned about what were streamed right so we need to join the tv program with the content so from this table called tv program aliased as t we can either go ahead and do inner join or we can do left join you can do whatever you prefer i usually prefer left join so left join the content table aliased as c on t dot content id is equal to c dot content id and let's keep only those columns which we require so here only the program date from the tv program makes sense right and then in the content table we can keep all the columns even though we do not require content id but like we can keep it so what i'm saying is return the program date column from tv program so program date and then let's keep everything from the content table okay now let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output let me just drag it above so here we have a uh, program date content id title kids content and content type now we need to have three filters firstly the program date should be in june of 2020 secondly the kids content should be yes and then thirdly a content type should be a movie so what we can do is we can perform all the three here so where we are only concerned about the year and month of program date so either you can do year is equal to 2020 and month is equal to six or you can directly go ahead and format this table right so date format the column program date which comes from the tv program so t dot program date and it should be we are only concerned about year and month so capital y for year and small m for month it should be equal to basically 2020 06 right so june of 2020 so first one is done then we all know also need to make sure that kids content kids content is coming from c dot kids content is equal to yes and also it should be a movie so and c dot content type is equal to movies so okay now let me go ahead and let me just drag it down so this is the entire code that it looks like now let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get okay so if we look at our output now so there is only one movie that satisfy all these three things so in this we only need to return the title right that is what we have in our output thus the title so what we can do is and that should be distinct titles right so remember this aladdin can also be streamed multiple times in june of 2020 
okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit to see first all the test cases yeah, this is accepted and this is how to do it not a very difficult question all we had to do was firstly we need to merge the information in both the tv program as well as the content table because we need to filter by two columns in the content table and the third column in the tv program table and once we had the information we filtered by it, whatever was required and then we only returned the titles from the content table so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video